Twitter threatens Meta suit over allegedly stealing trade secrets for Threads, which Threads is basically the new platform by Zuckerberg. So Twitter has threatened to sue Meta platforms over its new Threads platform, Semaphore reported Thursday, citing a letter sent to the Facebook parent's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, by Twitter's lawyer, Alex Spiro. Meta, which launched Threads on Wednesday and has logged more than 30 million signups, looks to take on Elon Musk's Twitter by taking advantage of Instagram's billions of users. Now, here's the thing. In my opinion, Meta, Facebook, whatever, Zuckerberg is probably going to get crazy and crazy and crazy amounts of users because what a lot of people don't understand is that Facebook, I believe, is bigger in like the world market than Twitter is like globally speaking like it's huge like absolutely huge there's like literally billions and billions of people that use (laughs) Facebook so it wouldn't be hard for them to basically use Facebook Instagram to drive people or basically automatically connect people to this new platform Spiro, in his letter, accused Meta of hiring former Twitter employees who had and continue to have access to Twitter's trade secrets and other highly confidential information, the report said. Twitter intends to strictly enforce its intellectual property rights and demands that Meta take immediate steps to stop using inner Twitter trade secrets or other highly confidential information. The report said, Twitter intends to strictly enforce its intellectual property rights and demands... Oh, yeah. Okay, I just repeated that. No one on the Threads engineering team is a former Twitter employee. That's just not a thing, Meta spokesperson Andy Stone said in a Threads post. A former senior Twitter employee told Reuters they were not aware of any former staffers working on Threads, nor any senior personnel who landed at Meta at all. Meanwhile, Twitter owner Musk said, competition is fine, cheating is not, in response to a tweet citing the news. Since Musk's takeover of the social media platform, Twitter has seen competition from Mastodon and Blue Sky, among others. Thread's user interface, however, has a striking resemblance to the microblogging platform. Still, Threads does not support keyword searches or direct messages, and Spirit did not immediately respond to Reuters' request for comment. Now, again, like the interesting thing about this is that Zuckerberg is probably going to be facing some sort of trouble from this. Like he has multiple times basically been sued for something similar to what he is allegedly have done. Now, again, what people need to understand, Zuckerberg is not exactly the greatest at creating things. He's just very good at basically not necessarily stealing, but taking over an idea and scaling it to the moon, right? Instagram was not something that he created. He bought it and then scaled it to the moon. Uh, I believe WhatsApp, he bought, scaled it to the moon. Like pretty much everything that he has done other than Facebook, really, he has like bought it took it over in some shape or form and scaled it to the moon. And then the thing that he like really tried to work on, which basically flopped, is the whole metaverse thing. Now, technically, the idea is fine, but their implementation was just not good. So it wouldn't be surprising for them to actually basically allegedly steal an idea and then scale it to the moon and actually have it work out well for them because it's not really their idea and they didn't really start it in a way. They're just taking over, okay, that system works over there. Let's just change it slightly and make it our own and then we'll just do 10 times more than what they could do, right? Because, again, Facebook... Instagram, WhatsApp, all of those basically shoveling users, potentially mandatory users, straight into this Threads platform. They're probably going to get crazy amounts of users that are going to be basically stuck in that whole 
ecosystem. So in terms of like financially making sense, it makes perfect sense for Zuckerberg to do this. Probably will make a good amount of money from this. It probably will do very well in general and probably last for a while compared to other competitors because one, they got infrastructure from Instagram and Facebook. They got the users and they could just basically make it mandatory for all of the users to basically be connected to this automatically, right? Like it wouldn't be like, okay, let's use it like this as an example, right? So let's say when you buy a new phone, you typically see some of the same apps. Like you might see like a web browser, like a very specific web browser. So like, for example, an Android phone, you'll probably see a, you know, Google Chrome, you'll see YouTube, you'll see Facebook, you'll probably see Instagram, potentially. Like you have like a certain like set of apps that are automatically going to be like downloaded onto the phone, right? It wouldn't be too out of line that if you have an Instagram account or a Facebook account, you're just going to be automatically given a thread account after a certain amount of time. Let's say that they kind of perfect what they are trying to perfect with the whole threads app. They could just basically make it like a mandatory thing where their users are automatically given like a mirror account onto there, right? So I just think it's kind of interesting because again, Zuckerberg, like what Zuckerberg has done with like the apps, the companies that he has bought and scaled is like a really good example of that. You don't necessarily need to have like a perfect idea. You don't have to be necessarily creative, but you could technically just see something that is working and either copy it, buy it, or do something similar to it and do very well, right? Like this is the reason why you can see multiple taco shops, right? Multiple pizza shops, multiple sandwich shops, multiple gas stations, right? Because people could just see what that gas station's doing, pretty much copy what they're doing, change something slightly different, and you could end up becoming successful, right? Someone could create like a like so like some sort of social media platform, like um profile, I guess, maybe like a TikTok or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever you want to do. And you could potentially just copy someone and do what they're doing, maybe slightly a little bit, like just slightly different, and you could do very well. A very good example of like copycats that make it work really well is pretty much there is like a Mr. Beast, which is the biggest YouTube creator, there's like pretty much a copycat version of Mr. Beast in pretty much every single country where pretty much all they do is the exact same video that he pretty much does. Some of them might even like steal his uh, thumbnails, replace his face with their face, copy their title, like his titles, word for word, even in the like uh, the capital letters. Like literally, will just copy everything like a hundred percent, and they could potentially get millions upon millions upon millions of views, which means thousands upon thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month by just copycatting, right? There's also a really good example of this, not with um, Mr. Beast, but there was another YouTube channel called this. Now, this guy ended up becoming basically like a scammer and like ended up getting sued by the SEC and had to pay like $50 million dollars because he was selling really absurd products. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see.
Now, what's interesting, like, again, like this guy basically got sued by the SEC for like $50 million, okay? So, because he made about $50 million, and basically they viewed him basically as like an online scammer, and he got the slap down, right? But the interesting thing about this, a lot of his content was like copycat content of like other creators, right? So let's see the most popular, right? So let's do this. Like earn $500 watching YouTube videos available worldwide, make money online. This is like like some of the stuff that he says in these videos were the exact same as another video. The title was pretty much the exact same as like another video. The thumbnail was basically the exact same as another video. And by the way, like the type of like money that he was making from these videos was like insane, right? I think on like this one video, he probably made close to like a hundred grand on this one video with 2.9 million views. Like think about that for a second. Are you willing to do like copycat stuff if you could just make really easy money like that? If you knew, if you knew that there's like an extremely high likelihood, like higher than 50% likelihood that you could just copy something or steal something and potentially make multiple six figures a month, a year, millions of dollars in the form of, or maybe even billions of dollars in the form of basically Facebook versus Twitter. Like, copying something can end up working for a lot of people, and sometimes it doesn't even matter, right? Like, that's the crazy thing, right? Like, now, again, this guy got taken down basically because of scamming his potential customers and all that kind of stuff, right? But, um, like, he was selling, like, products that were, like, trying to, like, guarantee people, like, crazy returns for, like, 50 grand or 100 grand, or, like, he was also trying to sell, like, some sort of crypto trading bot, like, something crazy, right? So this guy got taken down. But, again, like, this type of thing is such a good example where, like, so much of this stuff is copycat stuff, which he was getting like a lot of like crap for which basically Facebook is getting a lot of crap for right now for potentially copying Twitter but like in the grand scheme of things as long as they are technically not doing anything illegal in and how they're doing the whole copycat stuff it doesn't actually matter right if like if there's nothing against the law right where you could basically say word for word the exact same thing that someone else does in like this is like a video, like as an example, do everything that they do, word for word, title, thumbnail, everything is exact same. If there's nothing legally against that, and you knew you could just make crazy amounts of money, what's to stop them? Like what's to stop people from doing it? Right? Because technically there is nothing, like there is no barrier for them to stop it. And it's just crazy amounts of money that we're talking about. Now, again, with, like, Facebook, with Zuckerberg, we're talking about potentially, like, billions and billions of dollars. Like, it's just, like, insanely what it could potentially mean for Zuckerberg if he does end up actually pulling it off where he scales it to, like, a super high, crazy user base. Because what was also interesting about the whole... um Threads thing is that Threads apparently like takes a lot of user data, like way more than like Facebook even does. So hold on, let's do this. Threads user data. Let's see. So the app may collect highly sensitive information about users in order to provide uh, to profile their digital activity, including health and financial data, precise location, browsing history, contacts, search history, and other sensitive information. However, the legal basis Meta had claimed for processing Facebook users' personal data was found unlawful at the start of this year, raising questions over whether threats will be able to launch in the European Union, where the legal basis Meta had claimed for processing Facebook's users' personal data, performance of a contract, was found unlawful at this for this year. According to Ireland's Data Protection Commission, DPC, 
the app would not roll out in Ireland or the EU for the foreseeable future. Like, it collects crazy, like, crazy amounts of data. Let's see. Like, yeah, it's just going to get crazy. Now, if they're able to pull this off again at the scale that they're probably trying to do in the terms of, like, the tune of, like, like potentially billions of users, and they have, like, crazy privacy information of yours, like, personal information of yours, because apparently you can also get, like, they know your credit score as well. Like, it doesn't say in here, but, like, they also know your credit score. Like, it gets into, like, some really crazy details. Apparently, they will know, like, your religious affiliation, whether or not, you know, like, where you work, like, how you voted, all that sort of stuff. Like, your home address. Like, it, it, it gets crazy, right? It gets, like, literally insane how much of a privacy issue this actually is, right? But the reason why this would be so big for Facebook is because this would allow them to be very good with ads, like make crazy amounts of money with ads. Because as someone, if you were like to own a company, right, or any company out there that sees this, right, if they know that you are a very specific person, like you are a male in your like low 20s that is still in college, right, that's about to like get a job, they could potentially like sell you on something that's a very high ticket at the right time that you are basically feeling super desperate to try to make money and you could end up <laughs> losing a lot, right? So for example, let's say that not in terms of like you trying to find like a job, let's say that a casino, like an online gambling casino, can see that, oh, this person spends all their time searching gambling websites, odds, sports books, bookies, all that sort of stuff. All they talk about is gambling. They have a very good credit score. They spend or post all a bunch of content about gambling and they they just know that this individual is going to be pretty much highly likely to gamble specifically online right they're going to pitch an ad when that person is the most vulnerable to gambling online so it just gets into like a really crazy situation where like these companies, like if you have a company that ends up or a company that like relies on like advertising, like this whole Meta's thread thing is going to potentially make these companies or your company crazy amounts of money. Because if you know your audience like crazy, like, oh, okay, let's say that you are selling like a weight loss product, right? specifically to overweight females, specifically, right? Well, you could basically cater to the most likely person to buy your product and would also be the most likely person to spend a higher amount for that product. So for example, let's say that you are going to create an ad to sell your product that is about losing weight for females, you create an ad that targets a single mom that is overweight, that wants to look good, but she feels super bad about herself, where you know that she has constantly bought weight loss pills online, she has searched for that online, you know that she has access to money because she you know her credit history, you know her like financial situation, you know her home address, like so like in the zip code that she's in, you know that is a pretty high 
net worth area. You know that she is like a of some sort of specific religious affiliation. So potentially she could be malleable to something. It's like it gets crazy, right? Like it gets absolutely insane because like there's always like a percentage of people that would potentially buy something, right? So like let's say that I have this cup, right? gas station cup but like let's say i got this cup and i show like a hundred people an ad of this cup right maybe one percent will buy this cup from the ad right let's say that i show a thousand people (laughs) this cup to buy it a one percent maybe will still potentially buy it which will just keep on scaling and scaling and scaling but like that's like broad marketing. But if you know that you could target someone who's super thirsty, that gets super thirsty at a specific time of day, and they live in like the desert as well, right? And they always buy gas station drinks based off their search history. Like it's going to be insane. Like this is like a digital marketer's dream, right? Like this type of app because you could just do targeting like crazy, like creepy level targeting creepy level it's just something to think about but uh yeah if it's not against the law technically speaking Zuckerberg even though he might face like a lot of trouble in terms of like privacy stuff it, like if he isn't found like guilty or his company isn't found guilty of stealing any trade secrets he can literally just copycat or buy competitors and no one could really stop him. 